Hello guys, it's Carly from the Poetry of Nice and I have a haul video. It's been a while since I've done one of these um, <laughs> just because the weather's changed and winter is here and I just have not been hitting up yard sales and stuff like I usually do. Um, so it's been about a month since I've been out sourcing. I've just been listing and selling. Obviously my sales videos are still coming every week um, and I'm doing okay with sales but I got the itch yesterday and I decided to go sourcing. So I hit up two thrift stores and I also happened to stumble upon a very random yard sale even in like the freezing cold um and so that was kind of exciting so let me just go ahead and take you through uh, what i got everything you see here cost me around about 40 dollars which is more than i would usually spend because usually i am doing just yard sales but you know thrift stores are a little bit more expensive but still a lot of profit to be made so uh, let me go ahead and show you what i've got and i'll let you know um where i will be selling them whether etsy ebay or cross posted um and hopefully for around about what i'll be listing them for as well all right here we go Okay, so starting over here, you can see here just another like little remnant of uh, vintage Halloween stuff. It's marked USA on the bottom, just like a little jack-o'-lantern blow mold kind of, um, it's very sort of 80s is what I would say. Well, a lot of stuff I've sold like this tends to be 80s, otherwise early 90s. And um, so I got this for $1.98 um, and this will go up on Etsy. This will go up for around $25. Obviously we are out of season, so it will most likely sit for a while, <laughs> but you know, that's okay. That's absolutely fine. The fees are so low on Etsy, that is not a problem. Um, and then let me just go ahead and show you this big guy back here. So this is, as you can see, um, like a shoe, uh, shoe shine kit, like the box that goes with it. So your shoe would go up here and whatnot. Um, and then you can see the markings down here and it came filled with lots and stuff but I threw a lot of it away because a lot of it was obviously like just random shoe polish that isn't particularly old or anything but a lot of these came with it too and as you can see it is the actual brushes that go with the set and then there's a few in here as well that are a slightly different brand as you can see there but either way very nice brushes in really really good shape and um, I picked this up for four dollars um, obviously filled with plenty of things I'm probably gonna ask around oh my goodness um with the brushes in as well probably around the $50 mark um maybe higher I'm not sure I need to go ahead and have a, a little bit more research but definitely a little bit of profit to be made and then this phone over here I got this from the yard sorry that was from the yard sale and got this from the yard sale as well this was three dollars um, as you can see just like your normal rotary phone really really pretty it, it does have you know some signs of age and stuff you can see there and a few little marks a lot of the marks came off actually with an um alcohol wipe a lot of that stuff came off but these are just marks the actual plastic it's like damage um but overall not bad shape at all um so i paid three dollars for this and i have not yet decided i need to tighten that up i can see that right now um i've not yet decided what i'm going to uh <laughs> to ask for it i've uh, sold ones that are less cool you can see they're made in korea ones that are less cool for around 40 dollars. so maybe like maybe between 40 and 50 we'll see uh, and that'll go on etsy and ebay and actually this will go on etsy and ebay as well and probably this one. I probably won't put this up on eBay right now until it gets closer to Halloween next year if it's still around, but I will put it on Etsy now. Um, these I picked up for 99 cents at the thrift store. These are just, I think, 1989. They're just a little set of like play pots and pans and things as you can see there fisher price i do okay with all fisher price toys i probably put them up for around ten dollars on etsy um i picked up this vintage very kind of retro cool christmas mug there's obviously a lot of christmas stuff out there right now i paid 49 cents for this and i'll put this up for i think 7.95 on etsy um these i grabbed and i can't find them anywhere online they're not particularly old but they are bridal shower invitations and they are obviously this cinderella theme you can see the insides they're new and sealed uh, originally retailed at 5.99 but i cannot find this particular style anywhere um so again i'll delve into some more research but i might i might put them up maybe 20 25 if i truly cannot find the same style anywhere and they're not sold anymore and that will obviously actually that will be ebay and etsy um since it can also be, uh, also be sold as a supply on etsy and picked up this little vintage leather wallet um 
looks like it has never been used and it even comes with this little like identification card and stuff inside very cool here is the brand i think it's a ah, baronet yep just a nice little one that's that cost me i think 99 cents um another snoopy lord help me with the snoopies i need an intervention my kids love them so i grab them every every time and they don't sell that quickly anyway uh, so he's from 1968 made in korea he's a nice small one so he'll probably go up for maybe like 24.95 on etsy i will not bother with him on ebay i don't think because there's a lot of them on there um etsy i seem to do better with my old uh, my like sort of vintage plush and things um all right what is next all right, I'm going to jump back to this hat for now. Um, so I, I paid $4.99 for this, which may have been too much. I don't know. But I haven't done a lot with, like, these proper wool hats. So this is a little bit of experience uh, being gained here. <laughs> Let me go ahead and show you the inside. So this is what it looks like on the inside. And you can see here it's got its WPL code um, because it is 100% wool made in the USA. And I do have a brand name somewhere, although I can't quite decipher it. I'll have to do a little bit of research on that as well. Design is the second word. Um, but anyway, it's in really, really good shape. It's still, you know, nice and blocked and all that kind of stuff. No marks to it whatsoever. So for $4.99 and 100% wool, I figured I would give it a try. This I also got at the yard sale. I paid $2 for this. Um, and it's obviously new and sealed. It is not vintage. 2008, I think this one was. And it's just a stocking kit. And um, looks like this is going for hmm, around the $30 mark on eBay. I've actually put mine up for $39.99 with best offer. And I think about $29.95 is what I want to say on Etsy. Um, and I'll just watch that for a few days, see how it goes, and I can always drop my price because there wasn't too many up there right now of this particular design, I don't think. Um, Another one of these, this was from the yard sale, paid a dollar for it. Just a accordion peg rack. Um, it's in good shape, very good shape. It's almost like a miniature one, you can tell there. It's smaller than they usually are, but that's gone up already for $19.95. I picked this up for 49 cents. I don't do a lot of patterns, mostly because I'm drowning in them from making some poor choices when I first started. But this one is completely uncut. And the reason why I got it is it's a making history uh pattern you see all these like how game of thrones is this so that's going to be a keyword in there for sure and anyway i looked it up and it looks like it's going for around hmm, it's going around ten dollars sold in the u.s there's a lot of like not a lot but there was a few international sellers that got up to like 30 40 dollars plus shipping um and there's only one right now up on ebay that is a u.s seller so i'm going to put this up on ebay and etsy and uh, we'll see how it goes and i guess maybe like $29.99 with best offer, something like that. We'll see. Um, I got this bed sheet for $1.98. This is Wally, Disney Pixar. Um, the reason why I grabbed this, now it's only the fitted sheet, but it's in really, really, really good shape. The reason why I grabbed this is that prices are kind of all over the place, but like the, the ones where you have like the flat sheet and the pillowcase, again, I only have the fitted sheet. I've seen them going for, you know, $35, $40, like solds. Um, so I figured I would go ahead and grab it and I'll probably be selling this as a craft supply. So I will go ahead and even though it's not vintage, put it on Etsy as well. Because there's a lot of people on Etsy that go ahead and do like, you know, the character costumes, things like that. And they need, uh, you know, this kind of fabric that you can get from sheets and things to go ahead and put into those designs. And Wally is, you know, a, a fairly obscure character. He's not terribly popular. Or when he is, he's not as easy to find. So I went ahead and grabbed that for two bucks and took a chance. Um, all right, let me show you these Christmas ornaments real quick. So... These were all 49 cents a piece, and I just thought they were too cute. Um, so th they all are dated. This one is 1978. As long as we have love and friends, Christmas never really ends. Very nice little kind of illustration. So this will go up probably for 9.95. I think each of these will go up for 9.95. This one I thought was so cool. I have almost no doubt that this will sell before Christmas. Just really cool little illustrations. Almost we should think of peanuts. I don't know, but anyway. Um, carol singing there and this is 1980 really good shape and then this one is not in as good shape it's got a little bit of yellowing to it but 1980 again cute little cat design so good keywords and this one is a teacher ornament okay so 49 cents each so hopefully about 30 dollar to be 30 dollars to be made on that 
Um, okay, vintage Las Vegas super neon mug from the 80s was a buck. Probably put that up for like $12.95. Found another one of these. Don't ever pass these up. These will go anywhere from like 15 to 25. Again, this was, I think this was a dollar on like 99 cents. Um, I'm so hard pressed not to keep this, but I've sold a few of these now. Um, always on Etsy, I believe. And this is Figment, if you don't know. And he's like the... Um, Kind of like the mascot of the Epcot Park at Walt Disney World, um, the the Imagination Pavilion, I think he's part of. But um, yeah, he's kind of got a little bit of a cult following going as well. So it's a good thing there, especially to get it before Christmas. And then this is from the 1980s as well, made in Korea. And it's just a little cartoon kind of caricature of Santa's reindeer. I have no idea if that'll sell. Like when I picked it up, I was like, heck yeah, vintage Christmas mug. I'll buy that for 49 cents so when I got home I thought it's kind of plain <laughs> but I'll throw it up for $7.95 and see what it does um another Bernstein Bears books picked it up for 50 cents always pick these up if they're 50 cents or less because I put them in my kind of like big pile that I make and then when I get to sort of 20 or 30 I put them up for sort of around about the $30 mark so if I've paid no more than 50 cents I'm doubling my money but usually I get them for like 10 cents to 25 cents and then I'll sell them as a lot. Um, okay, this is a cookie press or a cookie mold ceramic. There you go. You can see the markings there. Really, really nice shape. Um, this has gone up for, uh, I paid $1.98 for this. It's gone up for $14.95. Not worth as much as I thought it would be, but this particular pattern is called the Nordic Christmas pattern. Um, and again, great keywords with that as well couple of pairs of glasses these were a brand name I was not familiar with but for a dollar they are really sort of well made you know when you can just tell that they're sort of well put together their prescription they're made in Switzerland and Menrad is the brand name so I'll do a little bit of research but they as standard go up for about sort of $29.95 to $34.95 for me on Etsy these are not vintage but they are Ralph Lauren and they do check out with the model number and things like that. That's always a really good place to start when you want to make sure that you have something that is not a knockoff. Make sure you start by checking out the model number. I paid $1.98 for those and they'll probably go for around $30 on eBay. A little recipes box. It's like a faux wood plastic, but it is from 1985, made in the USA. Very cute, very simple. That'll probably go for around $14.95. I paid 79 cents for that. Got this hat for uh, two bucks, uh, vintage Las Vegas. I've had a lot of people buying Las Vegas stuff at the moment, and I think it's, I don't know if it's like a Christmas thing or what it is, or if they're just planning next year, I'm not sure. But anyway, you see they're made in the USA. Fairly, it's a little bit of yellow into it, but fairly good shape, and I have sold worse. And then my final thing I'm going to show you, I got for $2.99 at a thrift store, and it's this set of never-used Dakin uh, porcelain uh, Christmas ornaments. Find your words, Carly. <laughs> Christmas ornaments. Okay, so that is everything that I got. Um, I already have some things listed. I'm working on getting the other things listed as well. Um, so just, you know, a little bit of an array of stuff there. Just got to, like, kind of keep it going. You know, I was I have sort of these death piles of stuff that I'm working through, trying to get everything listed from while I'm not sourcing during the winter months. But, man, I just I had to get out there and find some new stuff. I felt like I was going crazy, just delving into my garage constantly and seeing the same stuff over and over again. <laughs> All right, um, so how is everybody else's sourcing going? Have you changed things up and going to thrift stores instead? Is there still stuff going on in your area? Do you have any tips? Share below in the comments. I am so sorry that I have not been very active in the comments recently. Um, to say the least, life has been a little bit crazy with some family stuff going on at the moment. So just uh, bear with me with that. But I still read them. I'm just not sort of replying too much at the moment. Just trying to keep my head above water with a few things going on. Um, but... If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more. I do do whole videos whenever I get the chance to go out and pick stuff. Uh, they're weekly during the sort of spring, summer, or, uh, autumn, fall months. Um, and then winter months, it does slow down a bit, obviously, because of the weather and of the season. Um, but I do keep doing my weekly sales videos so you guys can see everything come full circle. And then I'll let you know what I paid for it, where I got it, and what it's all for, and on what platform. And there's my dog walking past. All right, guys, I'm going to uh, hop off here. Um, and I hope to speak to you guys soon. I'll be back with sales videos later. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.